We studied the role of intrinsic motivation as an exploration bias for reinforcement learning in sparse reward synergistic tasks. These are tasks in which multiple agents work together to achieve a goal that they could not achieve individually. Our formulation allows us to solve robotic bimanual manipulation tasks, which are designed to require synergy between the arms, as shown. Our key idea is that to achieve synergy, agents should prefer actions which affect the world in ways that would not be achieved if they were acting alone. Thus, we incentivize agents to take joint actions whose effects cannot be predicted via a composition of the predicted effect for each individual agent. Consider the following example. A heavy red bar rests on a table. The policy suggests for the two agents, or arms, to lift the bar from opposite ends. A composition of pre-trained single-agent forward models predicts the resulting state to be one where the bar is only partially lifted, since neither forward model has ever encountered states where the bar is lifted during its training. When this action is executed in the world, the bar is actually fully lifted, very different from the compositional prediction. We train the policy to prefer actions such as these, where there is a large prediction error by the composition of single-agent predictors, as a way to bias towards synergistic behavior. So, we have the following expression for intrinsic motivation for encouraging synergistic behavior. The single-agent predictive models are pre-trained on single-agent versions of the environment. Although this reward function will encourage synergy, an issue is that it depends on the true next state s bar. Removing this dependence would be not only scientifically desirable, since we would not have to actually take actions in order to know whether they would be synergistic, but also practically desirable, as we could improve the sample complexity for a policy optimization algorithm by replacing s-bar with something that we can differentiate through. Let's revisit the example from earlier. Our next idea is to train a second model, f-joint, to predict state transitions on the complete multi-agent environment. In this example, it correctly predicts that the bar is fully lifted, Again, this is very different from the compositional prediction, and now we train the policy based on the prediction disparity between the multi-agent and single-agent model predictions. Note that f-joint can be trained concurrently with the policy based on transition data from the environment. Although it requires training another model alongside the policy, the advantage of R2 intrinsic is that it is differentiable with respect to the action taken, assuming one uses differentiable predictors such as neural networks. This can be leveraged to improve the sample complexity of learning the policy. Next, we simply shape the sparse extrinsic reward from the environment by adding on the intrinsic reward scaled appropriately. The typical do what surprises you formulation of intrinsic motivation for exploration can be seen as encouraging the agent to visit parts of the state space where its predictive model performs badly. However, such formulations do not explicitly encourage synergistic behavior as we will now see in the experiments. We consider four baselines a random policy with respect to a generic set of skills such as grasping, twisting, and lifting, separate arm surprise, which trains each arm to be surprised separately and then runs the resulting policies at the same time, extrinsic reward only, which does not shape the reward and relies only on the sparse environment rewards, and non-synergistic surprise, which is the typical do-what-surprises-you formulation of intrinsic motivation. Here are our results in one of our environments, the ball pickup task. There are two key takeaways. The first takeaway is that using our synergistic intrinsic rewards boosts sample efficiency. This task is hard and requires coordination among the two arms, so separate arm surprise policies do not perform well. Given enough training samples, extrinsic reward only policies start to perform decently well. However, synergistic intrinsic rewards accelerate learning, solving the task consistently with around five times fewer samples. The second takeaway is that synergistic intrinsic rewards are better for this task than surprise-based rewards because surprise-based policies learn to exploit the joint model rather than to behave synergistically. We see similar takeaways in our other environments. Next, we will show videos of typical learned behavior by the various methods at 20,000 training iterations, a point at which our methods are performing consistently well. Here are videos of typical learned behavior by our method, which learns to solve the task in a sample-efficient manner. Here are videos of typical learned behavior by the extrinsic reward only baseline, which fails in rather uninteresting ways, such as picking the wrong skill to execute for an arm, simply because it has not yet seen enough positive rewards for the policy to converge. The non synergistic surprise baseline has very interesting failure modes. It learns to affect the world in difficult to predict ways, which does not always translate to good performance on the task. We have also tried using our formulation of intrinsic motivation without extrinsic reward. Qualitatively, 
The agents learn to act synergistically, but in ways that do not solve the task, which is completely sensible since the task is unknown to the agents. Thank you.